Hello and welcome to Undead for Revit. Today we'll learn how to load point cloud file inside Revit using Undead and also how to start modeling. So let's start with creating a new project. After opening a new project, we go to ribbon named Undead and click on add slice. This will open a slice manager which helps us to make some settings and create raster images from the part of that point cloud. First, we need to load the point cloud, so we click on set project. Then we have two options, either to open an existing undead project or create a new project using a point cloud file and convert it into an undead project. For now, we'll use an existing undead project. Then we have to define the insert point. So either we can use undefined coordinate somewhere near the base point or we can define a site coordinate and according to that we can load the point cloud. So for now we'll use undefined coordinate and as you see there is no difference which we can see because it's not a 3D point cloud file which we loaded into Revit. So now we go to site plan and click on preview button. What it does is make a low quality and fast image so that we know the location and orientation of our point cloud in respect to the base point. So now we see it's really far away. So we'll try to move the point cloud closer to the base point. So to do that, we have to go to undead, move tool, select the initial point and the final point. And now it's closer to our base point. But as we know in Revit, it's easier to work when we are working in horizontal and vertical orientation. And right now our point cloud is slightly tilted. So to make it oriented to horizontal and vertical orientation, we go to annotate, create a detail line along one of the straight walls. Like this. Then we go to under rotate and define the center of rotation on one end of the line and select other end and rotate. And once it's snapped to the horizontal plane, just click. And now we can delete the line which we made. And let's bring it a bit more to center using the same tool, move. And now we know the location of our point cloud file. So to start modeling, we still need levels. So to create levels and to know where are those floor levels in the building or the point cloud file, we can create a section. After opening this section, which is cutting through the building, we can click on preview. This will give us the elevation of the point cloud. So right now we see our level is at zero meter and four meters, but the actual elevation of the building is higher. So here we can do two things, either move the levels to the actual levels of the building or move the point cloud using move tool as before to the levels in defined already inside Revit. So for now, we'll just move the levels to the actual level of the building. But first of all, we need a more clear image and sharp image so that we know exact line of floor plans. So to do that, we have to go to center view in slice manager, choose a resolution and click on define area and define it over the preview image. It depends on how long it will take to create the raster images for smaller projects is faster for bigger projects is slower. And now we see there is no change, but they actually made a new raster. So to manage them, we can go to raster manager and disable the preview image. And as you see with the center view, we can see the clear lines of edges of the wall, floor and everything else. So now we can move our levels. And level one and level two. And now we are ready to start modeling.